Welcome to the Basics of Design, a final project for EdTech 597, YouTube for Educators. We will be covering five basic design concepts in this series of videos. Proximity, Alignment, Repetition, Contrast, and the Use of Color. This is video four, Contrast. Contrast is created when two elements are different. If two elements are too close in resemblance to each other, it is not contrast, but conflict. For contrast to be effective, it must be strong. Contrast can be created in many ways, including large and small font, old style and modern font, cool and warm color, thin and thick line, smooth and rough texture, horizontal and vertical alignment, small graphic with large graphic. If two things are not exactly the same, then make them very different. You will be given two sets of instructions. If you got both sets of instructions, which one would be more interesting? They both have the same information, same titles, and same basic layout. The difference? The use of contrast makes the second slide stand out. The contrast came from a more bold reverse title, more colorful and bolder subtitles, and colorful clip art. The easiest way to add contrast is with fonts. Use of some color also easily adds contrast. Just be careful not to use so much color that the message is lost altogether. If you use tall, narrow columns in your presentation, have a few strong headlines to create a contrasting horizontal direction across the page. Besides the contrast in the fonts of this slide, there is also a contrast between the long, horizontal title and the tall, narrow, vertical columns. The narrow columns are a repetitive element as well as an example of contrast. Contrast is the most dramatic of the design principles. A few simple changes can make the difference between an ordinary design and a powerful one. Take a look at these next two ads for Buddy's Pet Care. The first ad shows some contrast, but yet still looks a little bit homemade. Although the second Buddy's slide looks like a radical change from the first one, it is just an application of four of the basic design principles, proximity, alignment, repetition, and contrast. One particular item of note is that a reader's eye will always follow the eye of anything on the page. Make sure eyes of any picture lead to the focus of the page, the center. In summary, contrast on a page draws our eyes to it. Our eyes like contrast. It creates interest on the page and aids in organization. You can add contrast through your font choices, line thicknesses, colors, shapes, sizes, and space. If you're going to use contrast, do it with strength. If you're putting two elements on the page, they cannot be similar. The elements must be very different from each other. This has been a 2008 Tigger production.